from raincoats to waterproof wrappings for electronics and food items. Plastic packaging is a hot favorite among all of us. While plastic packaging may seem impenetrable to water, the tiny little water molecules can still wriggle their way through, suggest studies. Such moisture can spoil and limit the lifespan of many moisture-sensitive products, including electronics and medicines. Now, as a new viable alternative to plastic packaging, a team of researchers have come up with a special graphene-infused packaging. The new graphene-infused packaging has been developed by a team led by Professor Praveen C. Ramamurthy from the Center of Nanoscience and Engineering at Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore. The new packaging reduces by a million-fold how much water can get in. In order to develop this highly water-resistant packaging, researchers synthesized a single layer of graphene by chemical vapor deposition and using a simple and scalable process, transferred the graphene to a polymer film. When tested, the graphene packaging proved that water vapor permeates this material at the target rate of less than 10 to the power minus 6 grams per square meter per day. When we do this type of materials like for example for both whether it is an interactive scavenging type of functional groups in a material or a solid shield like graphene embedded polymer sheets, uh, we have observed water vapor transmission rate decreased by million fold that is it went down from 10 to the power minus 1 to 10 to the power minus 6 and above. So, this material can be used for food, electronics and pharmaceutical applications. An accelerated aging test also showed that an organic photovoltaic device wrapped in the graphene infused film would have a lifetime of more than one year compared to less than 30 minutes if packaged in the polymer without the graphene. These large area transparent graphene embedded polymers popular as GEPs are likely to offer a more flexible and resistant alternate to currently used plastic packaging. The results of the study have been published in the American Chemical Society Nano Journal.